This is the Star News Brief. I'm Joy Liregi. Interior Cabinet Secretary Kithure Kindiki and Prime Cabinet Secretary and Foreign Affairs CS Musalimu Davadi are the best performers according to the latest survey released on Wednesday. This is the fourth time Kindiki has been voted the best among President William Ruto's ministers. This is even as the cost of living continues to dent Ruto's regime, with nearly 90% of Kenyans surveyed in the poll saying the economy has worsened in the last year. Consequently, the survey results by research farmer Tifa reveal that the popularity of Ruto's UDA has dropped significantly, even though it's still the most popular party in the country. Get a copy of the Star E paper for only 40 shillings by logging on to www.mgazetti.com. An uproar has erupted among top politicians over the list of recipients of state awards gazetted by the government after the Jamhuri Day celebrations on Tuesday. The list had politicians, including MPs, military officers, and other personalities, awarded various categories of the honors, a fact that has seen those who missed out cry foul. The official list had over 900 Kenyans. Nairobi Senator Edwin Sifuna was the first to complain, claiming he had been nominated by the leadership of parliament to be conferred the award but his name was missing when the awardees got gazetted. The Public Service Commission has rejected a bid by the government to hand the Attorney General unchecked powers to appoint key staff at the state law office. A state-backed bill sponsored by Majority Leader Kimani Shungwa seeks to change the Attorney General Act 2012 to amass the AG's powers. If passed, the Attorney General, presently Justin Muturi, immediate former National Assembly Speaker, would hire the said officers without the input of the Public Service Commission. MPs have raised concerns in the controversial transfer of KBC frequencies to a private company, GoTV, by the Communications Authority of Kenya. The lawmakers, sitting at the National Assembly's Public Investment Committee on Social Services, Administration and Agriculture, have turned the move a raw deal to the national broadcaster, which it has emerged holds no shares in the private firm. MPs on Wednesday questioned the circumstances under which the authority agreed to transfer some KBC TV frequencies to GoTV. The firm has no relationship with the broadcaster, they said. Police have detained a couple who reported the death of their six-year-old daughter in their house in Dandora, Nairobi. The two told police the girl succumbed to chest complications and they wanted help to move the body to the mortuary on Tuesday evening. Police who visited the scene said they suspected that the girl was murdered. This is after they found marks on her neck and back. Nairobi police boss Adamson Bungay said they suspect the girl was strangled. Get a copy of the Star E paper for only 40 shillings by logging on to www.mgazetti.com.